Welcome back to the channel for another college tier review. Today I'll be taking a look at the Transformers Legacy Evolution Voyager class Metal Hawk. And this is a pretty neat addition to the line. Hasbro is venturing into some of the more unique characters, not just from uh, the Transformers movie or just G1. They're actually doing some of the uh, cartoon, um, or, sorry, comic and other Transformers timeline figures. And this guy is definitely a pretty awesome one from the Japanese stories. So we'll take a look at him today. You can get yours over at All Time Toy Store. Check out the link in the description below. And we'll also do a comparison, of course, with his mold mate, Cyclonus. And you know, at first glance, this guy definitely does not look like he has any shared parts from Cyclonus, but there are a few. And we will take a look at that in a second. But to begin, let's look at the packaging. If you like this video, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. So here's the packaging, cool image of Metal Hawk there on the front. Your typical legacy artwork on the side. There is the back, his Evo Fusion gimmick, of course. Nice, cool shots of him on the side there. I'm not very familiar with this character in particular, as you can probably tell, but he is an Autobot, he's a cool jet, so I had to pick him up. And that Cyclonus mold is one of my all-time favorite figures, so definitely had to get this guy. And man, does he impress. He does not disappoint at all. Really great paint apps on this guy. Very nice plastic quality. And of course, fantastic transformation. You can see lots of silver on him, red, this shiny mustard plastic there on the chest with some red, very nicely painted Autobot logo, nice red wings, lots of blue, and the pl blue plastic as well as the blue paint blend in really well because this is painted and this is just the plastic, blends in beautifully. This is back, I mean, no kibble on these guys at all. Nothing that's not supposed to be there. Very, very nice figure. Straighten him out here. Take a look at his accessories. So he actually comes with three accessories, one of which is kind of integral to the jet mode. But we'll begin with just taking a look at his sword. You can see all the points of articulation on this guy. Very, very, very good figure. Very good figure. Straighten out the knees here. Kind of just as height as you want, which is kind of a neat trick to these the Cyclonus figure as well. And this guy retains those components, but of course here's the sword. You can see there's some cool piping detail there on the side. Neat shape. Though no paint, just solid plastic and the side is a little hollowed out, but still cool, they included it. Fun accessory. Then he does also come with these parts, which you can just leave on him in robot and jump mode. They're all in the same place on his legs. Or you could use the Evo Fusion gimmick. And so either you could give these as, you know, you can have them as separate blasters in each hand if you want that look. Like that. You could have blasters in either hand. There you go. It does look a little funny if they're hollowed on the inside. So you could do that. Or you can combine them using these tabs. They just line up. And then you can just use either peg, slide into his hand, and he has like a double barrel blaster. So you could do that as well. And if you're gonna store his sword, there's a peg on his back. So you can just peg it in there like that for storage. And of course, like you saw earlier, there's another place you can mount these guns if you wanna give them more of like a seeker look. Just separate these apart. And you can mount these on his shoulders as well, which is also kind of a fun look. Sort off for now. So you could also do the Seeker appearance. Like that. So pretty, pretty nice looking figure there. I think it's pretty fun that you can do the guns on his shoulders and everything. Really, really cool. So then if you put these back on his legs, so we can just we can showcase how you can just leave them on him for transformation. So you do have these two slots there that line up with those tabs on the sides here. The gun, and you can see they do line up flush. The tabs are off. The slots and tabs, even though they're offset on the guns, um, are also offset on the legs so that everything does line up and you don't have like one gun higher than the other. Very nice figure. Let's get him standing up straight so we can compare him to his mold mate. 
Cyclonus. Leave the sword off to the side for now. Here is Cyclonus. So you can see that comparison. So they do share the same shoulder ports, same upper arm there, completely new elbow and uh, hands for, me for Metal Hawk, new wings, a uh, whole new chest region and back region. The upper legs here are the same, but then the lower legs are different, same feet, and then everything else is different. The panels back here, this panel is the same, but the panel that flips out that you'll see later in transformation that forms the back of the jet, the engines, um, is different. And this top panel, of course, is also different. So more different than shared, I would say, on this fig on these between these two figures. Even the crotch piece is different as well. Look at that. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So for articulation, he has just about all the articulation that Cyclonus has. So at the neck, you do get up and down. Cyclonus does have kind of like a double neck, so you can get him looking all the way down. Metal Hawk does not share that feature, unfortunately. But you know that is kind of extra articulation that we're used to. So. Get a little up and down there but then you do get the side to side and you also do just get the normal up and down the, out of the ball joint now the shoulders same as our cyclonus you have this nice filled in bit there too so it looks really good doesn't look too unnatural full 360 nice bend at the elbow you also have rotation at the elbow the, the wrists you can hinge them inwards for transformation and then they also do rotate then you do have waist rotation completely unhindered there very nice you can kick forward that far, backwards that far, and then if you use both joints at the knee, you can get it bending in all sorts of crazy ways. So you can either just do 90 out of that joint, or if you kind of extend it all the way, you can get way past 90, but then he could like catch a ball with his, his leg, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> and then we get nice ankle rock as well. Very, very good ankle rock. It's a lot of ankle rocking. So that is Metal Hawk's articulation. So now let's get him transformed and then we'll compare his jump mode to that of Cyclonus. So to begin, this guy is, you know, if you have Cyclonus, you know exactly basically what to expect of this transformation. This one's a little bit easier. So you just want to straighten out the wrists, hinge up inwards, then come to this wing, hinge out that double joint, straighten it out. There's a little tab that goes into the slot on the forearm like that, repeat on the opposite side. Make sure that fist is straight, hinge that leg, that uh, fist in, or not to the legs yet, we'll be in a second, and then just tab in the wing, like so, leave those out of the way. Then I like also to come to the legs next, arms and legs first. So we start with these panels, open them up, and then here you can see this is different engine detail, I'll show that off later, then what's on Cyclonus, and then just change the foot in, bring this whole part down, and snap this part so it completely covers the foot. Same thing on this side. Then you want to bend at the upper knee joint and slot everything inside the leg. It just compresses inwards. So same thing on this side, you want to bend that knee joint as far as it can go and then just press inwards. And then you do get big tab and slot and another big tab and slot. So I'll line up like that. And the legs are done. So for now, just kind of hinge them down so they're out of the way, like so. Next, we want to open up the chest, and this part of the transformation is a little bit different. With Cyclonus, you start with opening up the arms. With this guy, you want to pull open the chest first. Then you want to come to the arms and pull them out on those double hinge joints up top. Make sure they are fully stretched out so you have enough clearance for later. And then you want to come to these intakes and separate those as well. Then just rotate this whole piece around and flip out the nose cone, which also has part of the front of the cockpit there. Then you can close up the bottom part and the top part. And then you want to rotate this whole back assembly around. And then you want to first actually line up these parts and then slot the arms in. So actually first come down to the legs, you have these two tabs, they'll go into that slot, like so. Now come to these gray pieces pull those hinge joints all the way down until the side is nice and flush with the rest of the figure or jet. Same thing on this side. And then you do get a slot on the forearm that goes into that tab. So same thing on both sides, make sure everything's nice and snug. And here you have Metal Hawk in his pretty sleek looking jet mode. I mean, his robot mode was sleek, but this jet mode compacts really nicely.
Very cool looking, I really like the design. And as you can see, you know, if you just leave the guns here, this is where they're supposed to go on his legs. They kind of form those horizontal stabilizers in back and add some extra tail fins and some guns. Though those guns are not really useful, but still pretty cool. And if you wanted to, you could detach the gun. You do have slots on the bottom here, pegs. So if you wanted to, you could just take a gun, slot it in underneath, and kind of be blasting underneath like that. It looks a little funny, but you could do that if you so desire. Pretty cool. I think this jet mode looks fantastic. And then you can also take his sword. You have these two slots up here, or you could use this peg that you used when he's in robot mode. Um, either way, but the this sword also has two tabs that line up with those slots. So you can even further solidify the transformation if you want to with that part. But we'll leave it off for now. The only thing this guy doesn't have is landing gear, unfortunately. Which I think they probably could have squeezed in one of these parts instead of it all being hollow. But otherwise, yeah, pretty cool. I do like this jet mode a lot. I think it looks really cool. The other difference on this guy is Cyclonus has um, part of his wings fold up for transformation. Here, these parts actually fold up. And though this guy does have hinges, nothing actually moves on the wings. Just not supposed to, so. Just something to point out. So don't ever try and force those wings in any way. So let me transform Cyclonus, and then we can compare the two in their spaceship jet modes. All right, so here is Cyclonus in his spaceship mode. So you can just see them compared here. So obviously Cyclonus does have landing gear. Um, he is about as flawless of a figure as I think you can get. So really nicely done figure, but this guy is still very, very good. See those comparisons there? Let's put them around. You can just see how they stack up height-wise. Cyclonus does have a lot more that packs into his chest there, all that nose cone. Whereas in Metal Hawk, it really is just that front part there. But there's that comparison. Both really sleek looking vehicle modes. Very clean. Not a lot of kibble hanging off in either vehicle or robot mode. Both very excellent figures. Highly recommend both. And Metal Hawk, yeah, I think he is a great addition to the Legacy lineup. Really cool to see some of these other characters that we have not really seen before in toy form at least not in the US, um, especially not in mass production in any kind of recent time. So really cool to see this guy. I think he is an awesome looking jet mode and a really cool looking robot mode and just overall a really fun figure. Highly recommend them. Check out those links in the description to pick up yours from All Time Toy Store. And until the next review, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.